Hello, this is Viquinox, and welcome to part 58 of my playthrough, 100%. So, we have a couple of places left to discover. Uh, my marker went away for some reason, though, but where is Dark Fissure? I remember... Yeah, so I looked up a couple of locations on the map. We were missing one here, and then we're missing one, I think, around here. There's a cave that we haven't gotten. Now this is the thing. That would bring us to how many discoveries? There's 100 and, or no, 367 locations on map. Where is the location? There it is. So that would bring us to 366. Now here's the thing. I was thinking, is this the last location we have to discover that we can't fast travel to yet? But that is added through DLC. So somewhere in this world, there is still one more location that we haven't found. And I couldn't find it on the wikis map. I was like scanning the kind of like satellite dish style map that they have. I ended up finding this one pretty quick and I found this one pretty quick too. It took me like three minutes to find those two locations. But it's going to be a bit difficult to find them. Chances are it's somewhere on this western side of the map, northwestern. It could be east, but I scanned east pretty thoroughly. But I do want to discover every single location before we start the the actual DLC. I feel like that'd be good because then we can actually say that we gotten a lot done. We already closed every single Oblivion Gate for the 100% and now we have only three more locations. Two being already known about, one being hidden amongst the mess of them that we've found. But anyways, we're doing a quest, weren't we? Let's check that out. Ambush. I need to travel to the south of Cyrodiil and meet a group of battle mages preparing to storm the ruins of Cylorn. Okay, we can do that totally. Um, do we have anything needing to be stashed? We have a few things that need to be uh, sold. Um, these, we always keep those. Okay, for the most part we're good. We can probably sell some of these extra potions, like this sells for quite a lot. I don't think we need paralysis in our life when we actually have reflect damage. Yeah, for the most part, I think we're good. Maybe we stash some minotaur horns, they weigh us down. Okay, let's get going. I say that, and then I need to remember to actually pop a potion. How's my sensitivity? Hold on. Is it on the low as it could go? Okay, I think it's fine. Maybe I should turn it down a bit. Yeah, let's turn it down a bit. Uh, gameplay, things are still on max difficulty. They always have been. Uh, controls, turn down three notches, I feel like. That's good. Why does it still feel so fast? I'm hardly even moving my mouse. Okay, return. Okay, that's a bit better. Sorry, I don't know why, but I just started to recognize that. Um, anyways, yeah, I had been gone for a few days, so I couldn't actually record. I was off hanging out with my family, my nephew, my niece, and all that. It's a good time. Went swimming, had a feast of food. My brother, he got a new motorcycle, too. It was a good time. Hands down, enjoyable. Okay. So, for the time being, is this the right exit? Yeah, for the time being, we're not going to sell the items. We're going to just stash these ones that we need to sell. And then we can sell them off later. I just don't want to run around with them at the time being. Ow! Okay. We're still ah. very fast. I need to remember to get my resto up as well. Once that hits 100, life is going to improve. Honestly, it's going to get great. Let's also go through here. Um, yeah, I'm planning on... Oh, you're still in my house. Uh, you should probably go to... Actually, I don't know if he has a house. I think he's going to start squatting here. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, well, what can you do about it? Alright, we don't need these things. And anything else. I guess we can sell this stuff. It doesn't really weigh us down. And we'll come back for these later. These I want to pile up. We can sell those, too. Um, yeah, we'll decide what we want to keep later. 
and then of course deposit our minotaur horns how many have we gotten up to we have four okay we need 20. ectoplasm we're stashing that for really good lightning poisons same with those human skin i rarely see it anywhere maybe i should keep it might be unique um, the minotaur horns of course these bad larrys actually let's do the finding our roots mission i feel like we're going to be next to skin grad so might as well um we have a few variants of vampire dust okay is that it is that all we want how about these we were stashing those okay good and how many bear pelts do we have we have two in here i could have sworn we had more oh wait never mind i'm still in my own inventory let's check this out so many keys uh yeah we have 22 that's just the right amount 22 and then i think we, now we have six minotaur horns so we have to keep that in mind now whenever we go to uh the wilderness and we see a minotaur we're gonna have to slay them oh yeah 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 and also <laughs> the nern roots the nern roots i always forget How that can I help you? where are you there you are a hundred all a hundred okay we can actually finish that how do I like the sensitivity now? Okay, I think I can get used to this. Let's also look at our map. So they request we go here. So I figured since we're so close to Skingrad, we might as well go do that. It's the dead of night. I actually enjoy nighttime in Oblivion. The only thing I don't like is the consistent chirp of these grasshoppers. It's almost all the time. I do want to become a vampire in the future. I think that'd be a ton of fun. It's one of my favorite things about this game. And a bit of a spoiler, I think the last quest we're probably going to do in this game is the um, uh, cure for vampirism. Just because I'm going to totally drop a hard save right before I turn in that quest, get cured, and then just reload it and then have myself have a separate save. Sure, maybe you could be like, well, that's not true 100%, but I just hate how when you get vampirism, you can't get it again. At least in Skyrim, they fixed that. And then they actually made it like a good thing to have, be a vampire. They have an entire separate uh, skill tree dedicated to it, so I don't know. The only thing I don't care about for it is the sun, how the sun affects you. I'm okay with the damage, I just don't like the blur effect. I find that to be really annoying. If they didn't have that, then I'd be okay with it. So we probably have to be like a level 1 vampire for a bit, but when you get to level, I think, 4 or 5 is the max? Dude, once you hit those levels, it is <clears throat> something else. You get so much extra acrobatics, you get a way more athletics you get really fast actually it's how uh you uh maneuver around the world actually much better okay so these are our battle mages let's Greetings, see what's going on you're here from the council aren't you yeah so i am raven sent you just you that helps the odds but not much we're still going to be outnumbered Follow me. I'll show you what we're up against. Okay, let me mess with my sensitivity just a bit more. I think up a few notches. Well met, guildmate. Okay, that's almost all my mouse pad. Just for like a 180. You have to be like across the entirety from the side for a 360. Okay. This is it. The entrance to Cylorn is just ahead. That's right. We've been watching the site for a while and have tried to stay out of sight ever since the original plan was blown. We were supposed to storm the place and take this gem they're holding. Only we can't. There's some sort of enchantment on the door. That door's sealed. There's no way we're getting inside. So we'll have to wait for them to come out. Based on the activity I've seen, that should be very soon. Dude, I literally walked past a woman yesterday when I was in town, and she looked just like this person. Uh, why did you fall back? 
What other choice did I have? We were too exposed standing around outside the door. I lost one of my men already, and I wasn't willing to lose more. Rollis tried to make it through the door. He's the one that realized this wasn't going to work. One of their patrols spotted us, and Rollis went down. So we're stuck. All we can do is wait for them to come out. Then they can't hide any more than we can, and it evens the odds quite a bit. Okay, cool. So what do we do now? All we can do is prepare for them to come out. Once they do, it'll be our best chance to get the drop on them. Of course, since we can't get inside, we don't know how strong their numbers are or whether we really have a chance at this. Traven sent word that he wanted you in charge, so you've got it. You're in command. Tell us where you want us. If I may, I'd suggest that you put us in the best possible positions based on our abilities. But it's up to you. Okay, what's your abilities then? Actually, let's become friends. Certainly. And scratch that. What's your abilities? I have to admit, I'm better with an axe than I am with magic. I've been working on spellcasting, but I still feel better with a weapon in hand. Okay. There are two good locations to hide. One near here, and one closer to the door. Where do you want me to wait? I guess up close, okay, personal. Okay, I'll go over there now. Let me know when everyone is ready. Kind of self-explanatory, you like to hit things with axes. Hail and welcome, friend. I'm ready to fight. Where do you need me? How about you? Do you like us? Please, go on. Damn, we're too famous. It's going to be hard to level up speechcraft. All right, what's your abilities? Well, I excelled in my studies in magic, especially large-scale spells. I'm pretty accurate with them, too. More accurate than swinging a sword. Okay, so here's the thing I have noticed with combat in this game. I realize that even if they are up close, they still take the time to throw spells. And chances are that if you're far away, they're going to miss these spells. Like, if there's even some slight movement, they're going to miss their target. So I'm going to put her up close. Even though this game may be like, oh, I'm super accurate. I feel like she'd be better in a closer position. Do you want me to stay back? All right, up close. Okay, but remember, I'm not so good at close combat. You'll have to watch out for me. Yeah, don't worry. I'm invincible. I got your back. How about you? At your service. What do you need? What are your abilities? I can manage with a weapon or with spells, but I've really been working on healing lately. I'm getting pretty good at it. So you're actually able to heal us in combat? I don't get it. Everyone just get up close. We're going for a freaking mosh pit of a time. You've got it. I'll do my best to keep everyone healed. There we go. You see? That's the way. She may, like, miss her target and accidentally hit one of us, too. I feel like the right call is to get up close. Now, what does it mean to be up close? This is up close? Okay, let's change into our battle gear. Now, was that a creative way to actually get everyone where they need to be? I don't know, but I don't really care. If they live, if they die, it's not my problem. Are you guys sneaking? Like, what the hell? Do you even care if they see you or not? I saw some movement, by the way. There's someone chilling over there. Let's get our summon out. Also, I got this new fireball spell in the last quest as a reward. Actually, no, I got it for becoming a, what is it, magician? Really strong spell. Much stronger than our Finger of the Mountain, which is good. We needed an upgrade, and we have the ability to cast it, so. Am I supposed to get their attention? Here they come, here they come. This is going to go good. Get over here. Damn it, he fled. He better still be dying in there. Are these necromancers killing each other? Or am I insane? What the hell? Alright, I think we won, guys. We totally wrecked them. They panicked, and they got wrecked. That's what happens. 
I don't know what they were thinking. All right, good moves. Good day. Uh, I guess it's up to me now. Where's good the leader? Day. You are the leader. Get the gem. The leader probably had it. That high elf. Get it back to Traven immediately, or else this whole attack was a waste. Okay, cool. That was very odd that these guys actually like ended up wasting each other. To supply three poisons, call it a day. I may have to brew up some more. Actually, last time I checked, I didn't really have much in the way of poison uh, ingredients. So we may be at a disadvantage. Okay, nice. Slaughtered her. We'll snag some of those. Uh, let's look. We have 11 poisons. We wasted quite a few on Falcar, sadly. Alright, let's try to brew up some more. What do we have here? Okay, this is damage health. That's good. This is too. Nightshade, classic. Yes, I'm using flax. Scamp skin. Does scamp skin have fire on it? No. Okay, let's use flax again. We can always gather more since we are in the vicinity of tons of flask. Or, uh, flax. Now, this. How about these water things? Alright, that should be enough, right? We made quite a few more. Too bad Falcar got away. I swear I could have killed him. You know, it's actually a disappointment because I put away all those really good paralysis poisons. I feel like that's why they gave us those as a reward. You're already healing? Alright, keep him cornered. Keep him cornered. We'll win. Get him. Get him summoned. Yeah, we got this in the bag, bro. Nice. Get mopped up. Uh, let's investigate also our current level. Um, I don't know if I've been leveling up our spell casting good enough. Where is it? Restoration. I'm going to have to look at my player sheet soon. I've not been keeping tabs on that, actually. It's been a few days as well. Ah, uh, dude, what? My dagger broke. Unbelievable. Okay, let's use our axe just in case. Okay, now it's working. Another poison. Is he getting caught up by that stupid faded wraith? Come on, come on, get her, get her. Alright, our summon, he needs to return. Her healing potential is way too powerful. You know what, you have the right idea. Let's give our new spell a test run. Hold still, fool. Yes, this is it! No! That's why I hate about magic people. They really do know how to stop the death. Alright, we got her, we got her. Yes! No! Just when I thought it was over. Who is this woman? Okay, well. She's gonna need some more poison then. Let's try to turn the tide of this battle. Block her up, block her up. Nice, we won. What's up, playa? You want some? Get some. I'm supposed to be impressed. Someone's trying to stun him? Keep it up, keep it up. Nice, no pause.
Dude, dude, really? How is she holding me back? This is going to freaking get rough, isn't it? Usually does. I actually killed one solo. Get our summon back. Waste her, dude. Waste her. She's freaking gonna heal non-stop. Dude, really now? Yes, we got her. I'm getting proficient at slaughtering these fools, honestly. Too bad they're not dropping me enough stuff. Not bad. Her own summon actually chose to attack her. What an idiot. Come on, get her, get her. Yes! Flame Tempest sounds super strong. Get her, get her. She silenced again? Oh, dude, stupid phantom. What a moron. There we go. Summon a Dramora Lord? Oh, dude, I wish I had that scroll all the time. Wait a second. Oh, nice. Look at all this stuff. Did we miss out on Welkin Stones in the last room? We may just. Where is he? There we go. Trying to step behind me. It's a flawless strategy. I'll give you that. Dude, is he glitching out? He thinks this is real pathing, so he's trying to run through the door. Dude, what are you up to? You're a bit brain dead, aren't you? Yeah, let's waste him. Get him, get him. Easy mode. Even he's trying to get through there. Uh, where's the way through? Maybe that's the exit. Oh, this one too. She's a nice looking high elf. I'll give you props. Shit. Okay, well, since you did that, now it's time. Go, 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 go! This necromancer needs some dots on him. Is he stuck? He may just be stuck. We'll point blank fireball him. Should do the trick. Dude, what in the world? Where are you? Nice. Well, well. Summon? Ah, uh, no. Faded Wraith? Those are the worst. Actually, no, no. That's Lich. Lichman. Oh, dude, I thought she was about to step off into the water. Please do. Get out of my sight. Trap her in here. Go, go, go! They're all attacking each other now? What is this mosh pit? Alright, I'll help you kill this guy. At least then we can focus on her. Dude, what the heck? She actually fell in the water now? No one was actually trying to kill her. Get him, get him. Good moves. What about her? Yeah, she's an afterthought. Maybe she'll drown. 
Oh no, there's a way up here. She did try hard enough. Okay, we'll hit the switch again. And what about... No, there's nothing here. Summon Frost Atronach Tome? Maybe? I don't want too many spells in my actual thing, though. So what happened here? We hit this button. This was the starting room, wasn't it? I do remember seeing this. Was I supposed to go here? Summon it up. Come on. Really now? You're still focusing on the summons, bro. Get over here. Wow, I'm so famous, this guy actually likes me. He wants to talk to me on occasion. How ridiculous is that? I think if you have a personality of like 300 or something, you can actually talk to Jamora and they won't try to kill you. Can you believe that? Get him, get him, get him! Quick! Yes! Okay. Where in the world... Ah... Dude, that freaking Varla Stone is so useful. Oh, dude, Falcar! He actually lived the poisoning. Kill him, kill him! Are you supposed to be an endgame boss? What are you? You're ridiculous. I've recovered the Black Soul Gem. It needs to be taken back to Hannibal Trafin at the Arcane University. That was easy mode. And you call yourself a necromancer. You're the worst. Here, let's drag him over here real fast. Weak sauce, honestly. This guy's got nothing on us. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, no. That's not how I wanted it to go. Let's close it on his legs. Why I'm playing with dead corpses? Because, hey, it's not necrophilia, okay? Nice. Nice, his legs are all broken now. Can we get it, like, within his... Oh, no. Okay, never mind. That's that. Enjoy the afterlife, buddy. Ah, shit. Maybe this is the real boss. Alright, we'll kill this wraith. Or lich. You're getting all twisted now, huh? Quick, quick! Yo, if you keep on targeting this guy, we should kill him real fast. No, not the skeleton. We were so close. Being invincible is life, honestly. We're just too good. Alright, get the wraith. Great, and I got disarmed. Well, I guess my brain is going to be stuck in a consistent thought process. But what can you do? I guess we can unlock this chest, right? Give me treasure. There we go. Ah, yes, yes, treasure. I hit another switch? Where does this lead to? Crack that shit open. Boom. <clears throat> up and up. You 
Mission accomplished. That was easy mode. Um, let's make our way over to Skingrad real fast. We'll start the Nern Root quest. I wish I could find this last location. There's gotta be a hint. Something I've never looked at. There must be a place. What? The last remaining place to be discovered. It's gotta be here. To the northwest. We gotta go here. Also, nightshade, yes. We're gonna need a lot of these. Should I put on my travel gear? I don't think we should right now. I'm gonna get over encumbered. We'll just carry the weight for now. Does this ever stop smoking? Look at all that. The oblivion crisis ended like two days ago, man. Someone put that fire out. <coughs> The most obvious highwayman, just chillin'. I went the wrong way. Wasn't supposed to go left. But I knew that. Okay, we'll sell our stuff here, right? What do we get mainly? Staffs and stuff? Yeah. You can also use a few repairs. Not so loud. Armor, wep. Okay. Only 400 a pop? These are terrible That's stabs. A That's a good deal. Don't need that. Forgot to actually get rid of that. Let's get rid of these. You, uh, Maybe I should collect these Varla stones. A... I'm totally gonna sell the um, remaining soul gems, but I want to keep these Welkin stones and use them. Bargain. Prepare. Okay, good to go. Take care. Let's also re-equip our stuff. We're totally gonna get over encumbered again, but it's whatever. Just nearly there. One more level of strength training, and we should be good. Five more attributes. Be great. Okay, uh, Cinderian, here. Hey. It's gonna take a few days at a time to actually complete this. How goes the search? Thought the search is done, my friend. Fantastic! You actually found ten of the Nern Root. I'll begin making the Elixir of Exploration right away. According to my research from the Tome, I'll need at least 20 more Nern Root to make the next magnitude of Elixir. In any case, if you come back in about 24 hours, I should have the weaker Elixir ready for you. Okay, cool. So, eventually we'll finish that quest. Arcane University. Okay, I think that's the only nearby objective we really have. So let's go start the uh, next mission. Why not beeline it through these um, Mages Guild faction stuff?
Ah! Ogres? Ah, oh, Minotaur. Okay, Oof. this is actually something we want to fight here. Do I need to put on my armor? I don't know. Waste him, waste him. As long as the ogre doesn't sneak up. Yeah, I knew you were showing up. You son of a bitch. Get him, get him. Nice, nice. Got him. Get that. Good luck with the ogre, man. I don't have time for that shit. We gotta find the actual remaining ones. What, we had six? We just need 14 more and then we're good to go, for sure. Hey. Todd Howard actually did the voice acting for that guy. The unicorn horn. <clears throat> ah! Okay, stash our stuff here. I guess we'll have to like come back for these nerd roots later on, day by day. Let's go get some sales done in the market district since now it's daytime. Okay, snag that. Uh, why don't we keep these on us actually? I don't care about these, we'll sell those. Sell that and this. Okay, everything else is worthwhile. Okay. Hermaeus Mora. I forgot to check in with him too. I'm very, very easily on to the next thing. However, since it's the last remaining Daedric Prince quest, I think I know the right time to do it. I remember what he wants you to do. So I think all in all, he's going to be uh, a quick and easy mission if I do it right. Usually it takes a while, a lot of traveling, a lot of luck, but we got this in the bag. Welcome. Find greet. Up and up. Be to oblige. Go. Find Thalfin and the other battle mages. Stop the gem from reaching Manimarko. Already done, dude. Have at it. Dedicated to the last. I cannot thank you enough for bringing the gem here. I have need of it immediately. We have much to speak of and very little time. A new task awaits you. And it is by far the most important you have been entrusted with. Colossal black soul gem. Bye. See ya. All right. Do we have to do a new task or get an it's my pl advancement? You do not yet. Okay. Kind of. You see. Left too fast, didn't I? I know what purpose this soul gem is meant to serve. It is meant to house my very own soul to be absorbed by Manny Marco and increase his power. You were sent to acquire this gem so Manny Marco would not get his hands on it. With it, he would have marched on the university and come for me. There would have been little anyone could do to stop him. Now, however, I believe you have a chance to defeat him. When you are ready, I have a final task for you to undertake. It will, undoubtedly, be the most important service you perform for the guild. Okay, new task. Let's get it going. Are you truly prepared for this task? I cannot be certain what awaits you, but I am sure we will not speak again after you begin. Yeah, I'm ready. Then hear me, and hear me well. Manimarko will have what he seeks, but it will be his undoing at your hands. 
With this gem in your possession, you will be impervious to his attempts to enthrall you. When he fails, that is when you shall strike. When we are done speaking, you will take this gem, you will then seek out Manny Marco and destroy him. Get to him any way you can. It is your only hope for defeating him. I have full confidence in you, and so I leave the guild in your care. When I am gone, you will be recognized as Archmage and leader of the guild. Lead your fellow mages and lead them well. The future rests on your shoulders. Farewell, my friend. Dude, rip! Holy crap! No freaking way! He just incinerated himself. Well, I said you were a bad leader, but you gave it all up. Holy crap, rip! Uh, do you care about that? Pleasure. To okay, there's no dialogue. Yeah, the guildmaster's dead, yo. Holy shit. That was hardcore. That was some radical stuff right there. You could have just made like a suicide bomb spell and freaking jumped on Manny Marco's back or something. Called it a day. What do you need, I need to sell some stuff, that's what. Alright, we're gonna get rich real fast and then it's time. It's time to slay Manny Marco. Slice and dice. We'll use the other dagger, actually. Just hits a bit harder. There you are. We're not even using our full potential yet. Well, Matt. Have a look around. You won't find better. Get some cash there. That's not unique. That's not, and that's, that's not. That's a good deal. Okay, awesome. I probably should have stashed these. I forgot about it. It's not overly <laughs> important right now. Goodbye. Is this the exit? Maybe we can stop back into the crib and stash these gems for a bit. Nothing to eat. Where in the world are we going, anyways? Pretty far out. Echo Cave. Right next to Bruma. Okay, maybe we'll hold off on that so we can just run straight north. Now, when you run as fast as me, is there ah. any real point to buy a horse? I don't think there is. I think I'm going to kill them all. I'll buy them and then kill them. And then I'm going to steal them and kill them. It's the only right thing to do. Alright, let's heal up. We also got an expert level mortar. We don't need that. Okay, get a quick heal. Acrobatics is three levels from max. I find that to be awesome. Honestly. It's going to be so much fun. Aleswell, that place. I haven't stopped in there. Do they actually have anything worth stopping in to see? I know his two ugly sisters are good reason to keep your distance, but otherwise I can't really think of much. Okay, we have all the bear pelts we want. But we do have these bad Larrys. It's time. Slaughter him. You can handle that one. Nice kill. Yeah, yeah! Wreck him, dude. No way. Wow, he was holding back, I feel like.
Dude, you're too slow. I literally hold the back step key for like a second, and I'm already like this far. I'm too fast. It also makes running through interiors annoying. I can't do much about it. Alright, we will stop to kill these. Hold still. Die, die, die. Nice. We may need some more feather potions here and there. Alright, so Echo Cave. Just to the north here. Avoiding you? I think this is actually a win. Nice. Two more levels of acrobatics. Hell yeah. Come on. Yes, I knew you could make that jump. We have not been casting our spells, but we're also not trying to trip right now. We should probably make sure we do that before we use our blade anymore, actually. Thinking about it, yeah, let's do that. Look at how close we are to leveling. Okay, not too close, but also not too far. Uh, at the start of next episode, I'm totally going to check what my skills were. Ow! Did you see that ragdoll physic? My goodness. Ah, I went at too steep an incline like an idiot. Come on, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I just want my acrobatics to prove its worth. No! Alright, we're gonna have to settle for less. Come on! Come on! You're right there! Are you kidding? What the hell? You doing this shit just to spite me, character? I know you have the ups. I know you do. What a bastard. Ha! Ha! Ah! Yeah, that's right. Endure oh. the pain. How do you like that? Not doing what I wanted you to do. Uh. Boom. And a little bit more. Ah. Okay, alright. Don't worry, don't worry. Potions cure broken legs. It's a well-known fact. Echo Cave, are we here? We've got to be here. We are here. Oh, hey, how are you? You would dare to approach the King of Worms? If you seek an audience with his grace, you must open this door. I hold the key, and I will die defending it. Okay. Um, probably should get my battle gear on. This guy may kill me. He looks tough. Uh, can't change weapons while attacking. Okay, that makes sense. I'm trying to remove my ring. Where'd he go? Do you see him? Oh, there you are. How are you? Wait a second. Am I hallucinating? Why is he so close to death already? Nice. Get him, get him. Get a quick poison on his bitch ass. Is this enough? It was enough. Just put him down. Key is mine. I like that. Should we waste our time killing every single enemy we see in here? I don't think we'd have to, honestly. Dude, come back here. Where are you going, huh? And he's popping potions. Alright, alright. I decided it. How many poisons do we have left? We're practically out of poisons. This is not good. Not good at all. We need to go outside again. This is just terrible. I should have checked this before we went in. I'm about to reload, dude. Yeah, I'm about to reload before they see me. Screw it. I've arrived, yes. There's no way I'm waiting around for them to unsee me. Okay, we need to make some more poison. This is the right call. Didn't I get more nightshade? For fudge sakes. This is terrible. This is terrible. I'm gonna die. Okay, flax. What else damages health? You do. 
Okay, good. Fire damage. This is terrible. This is not going to plan. Okay, each and every one of these poisons is being applied to Manny Marco. We're just running through this. I hate necromancers. They heal too much. Showing your face was the last mistake you'll ever make. Get out of my way. Well, well. Look who we've got here. Who? Your worst nightmare? <laughs> I don't even do enough damage to consider myself a nightmare. Okay. For now, we're just gonna continue on. Mad zombies. Did I remember to put on my shield? I did. Phew. Damn, there's two clones throwing the same magic at me. Alright, is this where Manny Marco is located? It must be. Is this a cheap thing to do? Run past everyone? I don't know. Oh wow. Not a bad find. Let's get this over with. Useless. Oh, archers. That guy actually can pack a punch. Um, this way. This way is the right pathing. Alright, Manny Marco, I know you're in here. There you are. Wow, he looks old. Watch out! I see Bolor was unsuccessful in delaying you. Very well. I shall reanimate him once we are done here. Perhaps we shall chat for a while, since you really have no other options. Yes. I must say, I expected Archmage Traven, rather than his star pupil. He didn't teach me shit. I am disappointed to see that he could not face me himself. I have met so many of his predecessors over the years. I developed a particular fondness for Galerian, ill-preserved though he may be. But here you are instead, skilled enough to make it this far, which speaks volumes about you. Perhaps you'll be as useful to me as Traven would. I'll never help you. I'll serve you if you spare me. What do I say? Or what does he say? I am afraid you misunderstand. I already have more servants than I need. Your body will be preserved as a worm thrall. Your soul is mine. I intend to study both to learn more about the source of your power. What? Power, my dear friend. I seek power. And so I acquire and study those who have some degree of it. We are after the same things, your guild and I. Yet you worry about good and evil, and do not accept they are manifestations of the same thing. So you brand me a villain, and make vain attempts to destroy me. I watch. And I wait, and I collect you when you come for me. Instead of drawing Traven out, I have received you instead. Perhaps I shall personally go and collect him when we are done here. Okay, we're going to completely demolish this guy. This also drains Magicka. Let's use this. Hey, you want to also slaughter him a bit? Okay. Alright, he's getting up. We can't have that. Seven seconds goes by really fast in this game, wouldn't you say? Don't 
Don't give him a chance. Oh no, the worst boss for the Mages Guild. What are we gonna do? Haha, <laughs> you idiot. Holy shit, he got Aztec'd. No freaking way. That was the craziest way to die, the King of Worms. That was actually like crazy. If you don't know the Montezuma thing, the Spaniards when they captured him, they had his feet right next to burning fire to torture him. That was very crazy. Rip. Rip, dude. What in the world? I actually kind of want a picture of this. Damn, that's a that's a tough one. Oh, are you kidding me? When did we get all these? I don't remember getting these at all. All right, where's my feather? There's also a boss chest here too. We should crack into. Okay, not bad. Anything else? I guess not. We should hang on to his robe and also his um, what's it called? Staff. That's definitely unique. I think there's treasure in this water. He said something about a named person though. I don't know who that named person is. I hope it's not some unique enemy I have to slaughter. Could be. What's over here? Think we can make this jump? Are you a named enemy? No. Alright, we're safe. Dude, get out my way, fool. Honestly, step aside. Mission accomplished, though. That was a cakewalk. Straight up. I'm a bit lost, however. This is where I came in from. Alright, it was this way. All marching down there in the freaking cavern. Too bad this isn't the rapture. I'd seal that shit up on their ass real quick. Okay. Is this the right way? I'm a bit lost, man. Oh yeah, this is it. You gotta hop down. Down is up. Down is the way out. Watch out, fool. Okay, we send it back. Not half bad. So all in all, Nanny Marco, he may have been king of the worms, but in reality, he just got completely mopped up. He was nothing more to us than actually a peasant. Guy... You should rethink his freaking followers, you know? They could probably surpass him. I don't know why they never took a chance to actually take him down. Ha! They heal much more. They freaking hit like Mack trucks. Honestly. <clears throat> oh, yes, yes. Summon, summon. We have to kill these, man. Honestly. There's always time to kill a Minotaur now. He actually bludgeoned me? Son of a bitch. Get him fast. We're nearly there. A 
I wish I knew where that one remaining location is, man. Ah! Breaking my ankles non-stop. Okay. That's not what we're after, but we'll use them nonetheless. Not bad, though. We got a lot done this episode. Could this be the last mission to the faction? It may just be. Honestly. Strong potion of health. Strong potion of healing. What's it? Oh, this one's fortify. Okay. It's like, what is the difference here? Ow! Man, look at all that. The tower is massive. Imagine if you could actually buy residency inside of the tower. That'd be awesome. I mean, if you're a thief, you could just sneak in there. Maybe there's one unprotected bed. But then eventually people will be like, Oh, you're trespassing, you son of a bitch. Get out of here. Sorry, my alarm went off. Okay, mission accomplished. What do you need, Jen? I don't need Jack. I'm having a good time. Killing necromancers? Gets you high. It's like doing ten skooma in a row. Damn villains. Apparently the Empire has a lot of enemies. A never-ending amount. Who do you voodoo, bitch? Stand up. There's a zombie on me, but it can't harm me. If you ever played Dead Island, you'd know. I love that jam so much. All right, Archmage, you have returned. Did he just say Archmage? And a Marco has been defeated. I can hardly believe it. The King of Worms is no more. I... I received a note from Archmage Traven. I know what he did for us and that he selected you to take his place. I will mourn for him during my own private time. For now, I cannot help but rejoice. You have brought safety to the Guild and I thank you. I've already sent word to all the local Guild Halls that you are now in charge. Congratulations, Archmage. Okay, awesome. Ah, uh, what is all this? Ingredient collection? I'm officially the Archmage? Man, I worked my way up the social ladder and it took like, I think, not even a week. As the Archmage, you are entitled to certain privileges. In addition to the full use of all guild facilities, there is one service available to you. Juliana Fannis has long served Archmage Traven in collecting alchemical ingredients for his personal research. As the new Archmage, I'm sure she'll extend the service to you as well. At your convenience, consult her at the Lustratorium. Okay, cool. Quest added. Alchemy. Dude. Is this for real? Let's look at this. Archmage. Mage's Guild. Look at that. That looks awesome. So now we can use this. So sure, maybe we can't sleep inside of the Imperial Palace, but we have our own tower now in the Imperial City. This looks really cool. We're going to snag this. I know it adds some cosmetic value, but to me, we have to collect everything as much as we can. Okay, so that's cool. Not bad. Let's talk to this person about the thing. What can I help you with? Uh, ingredient collection. Ah, yes. Archmage Traven was quite fond of making potions in his spare time. So much so, in fact, 
that it became difficult for me to meet his needs. I finally accommodated him by enchanting a very special chest for him. You'll find it in the Archmage's quarters. Once a week, place a single ingredient in the chest. After 24 hours, you'll find a sizable quantity of the ingredient available for use. Do be prompt in collecting them, however. Anything left in the chest for a full week will be destroyed. And before you ask, yes, this only works with ingredients. Be very careful in what you place in that chest. I can't be held responsible. Oh, and you know something about Garadin's tears? Tell us a bit more. You aren't the first person to go looking for those. Quite a remarkable story, really. I know a bit about it. Please, I wish to hear it. Certainly. Garadin was a knight who lorded over a small village of peaceful farmers. One harvest summer, there was a horrible drought. The farmers appealed to Garadin to discover a solution. He spent a week consulting with sages, until one of them mentioned a possibility. The sage told him of an artifact called the Everflow Ewer. The vessel, which looked like a silver pitcher, was said to supply endless water. Amazing! Yes, indeed. Legend has it that Garadin found the Ewer, and that it was guarded by a fearsome creature. It is also said that the creature froze him. When Garadin realized his quest was a failure, and he wouldn't be able to return and save the farmers, he began to shed some tears. As the ice enveloped him, some of his tears were frozen as well. Some even say that the divine Mara took pity on the poor knight. To commemorate his kind heart, she imbued the tears with some sort of magical power. That's only rumor, though. You know, if you're really interested in more, there's a book I read once called Nightfall. It may have more about Garadin. Where can I find this book? I think I saw a copy last time I was at the first edition bookshop in the Market District. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think I'm going to do that in the next again, episode, anything. though. I hope you enjoyed watching. Pretty much the Mage's Guild is done. That was just something that had to do with a side quest within the guild. But we completed the main story of the faction. So now, I think we should go take a darker turn for Zalazar. And I think I know where to start. We're going to do this quest, A Knife in the Dark, the beginning of the Dark Brotherhood. So, in the next episode, we're going to be a murderer. We're going to join an underground group of assassins. But, until then, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, goodbye.